Hey team, so part three of our dry land swim series is gonna go into kicking. And I've got a yoga mat, but I thought in the spirit of uh, getting use out of our towels, I'm gonna use my, my, my swim towel. And in case you don't have a yoga mat, this is a good supplement, just a towel to put down um, on your floor. And so what we're gonna do is we're gonna do, uh, take a resistance band like we've been using in the other workouts, and we're gonna incorporate this for our legs because it's very important. Um, can't neglect the legs. Of course, we can do squats, uh, lunges, things to help strengthen your legs in a time like this where we don't have a pool. But uh, keeping the swimming theme in, motion, uh, in mind and, and making sure that we you know, keep our mental reps of, of our swimming and our timing, we're gonna do it here on dry land. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna take your, your resistance band and you're gonna bend it in half with the handlebars or the, uh, the handbars uh, connected. We're gonna take our, our we're sitting down uh, with our, our legs out in front of us and um, we're going to start and put the band in the front of our shins and then behind our, right underneath our calves, we're going to wedge the handlebar and the bungee to create that circle. So now what we're gonna do is we're going to get into our swimming position, chest down on the floor, and we're gonna go back and forth, simulating the kick. Remember to keep the knees slightly bent. Getting that extension, you can slow it up just to get that burn in your quads and your calves, speed it back up. And that's a simulated flutter kick. So that's how you do that. And you can incorporate that into your squats, lunges, all the different workouts that you're doing. So give that a shot and let me know how it goes. See you soon.